question is from Laura Andrews, 1989. Do you have any advice for someone trying to put on muscle but is struggling with eating extra calories? If I eat much more than what I'm currently eating, it makes me feel sick. Yeah, th this is um, this is a good one. I Because most of my life I've tried to put on muscle, I know exactly what this feels like. And it took me a long time to kind of work around it. So there are a couple things you can do to, to increase the <clears throat> amount of calories that you eat. Um, but before I get into that, um, in terms of well, how you eat your food and whatnot, I do want to say this. Force feeding yourself too often, probably not good for you. Your, your, your body is sending you a signal that's saying um, that you're getting enough food. Um, now, unless you're ill or overtrained, like if you beat yourself up, you're overtrained, super fatigued, sometimes that'll cause you to not want to eat as well. But if you're otherwise healthy, um, you want to kind of listen to your body. And maybe what you want to do to start with is send a louder muscle building signal that then will amp up your appetite a little bit. So sometimes to get your appetite to increase, you got to change your programming. Your workout may be, you may be doing too much in your workout or you may not be working out in a way that's building muscle effectively. One of the mm. first signs of an effective resistance training workout is an in increased appetite. Absolutely. Right. So, you, you know, if you lift properly and you're starting to get stronger, you'll notice that your appetite starts to boost kind of naturally. Now, that being said, um, there are a couple things that you can do. Um, I would say ha increase the amount of hyper-palatable Right, the foods novelty. That you eat. Yes. Throw some novelty in there so that way you get that contrast to, that maybe, you, you know, that'll help in terms of like helping – you feel like you couldn't eat more just because it, it is a different flavor. It is something that's like a new stimulus. Yeah, stay, stay away from foods that make you feel bloated. That's an appetite killer because I, I didn't re learn this until later, but I would stuff myself with certain foods and because I, I thought they were supposed to be good for muscle building and I'd get bloated and then forget it. It's like I couldn't eat uh, for the rest of the day. Right. So easily digestible food, this is a huge one for being able to eat more calories. If your digestion starts to go off, it's easy to not eat food when your digestion is off. It's hard to eat food when your digestion is off. So I would say focus on that. And then the last one would be drink some calories. Um, this is probably the easiest uh, possible thing you could do. If you're not dairy intolerant, uh, a glass of milk with each meal. Uh, one glass of milk with each meal. Boom, 300 calories mm -hmm. You know, right there. If you are dairy intolerant, you could try full fat coconut milk or protein powders uh, you know that you mix with the pro with the coconut milk and then drink that with a meal or in between meals that's the old school approach you know old school bodybuilders used to do that they would eat three big meals and then in between they'd have like a big you know shake that you're you know but again you have to digest it well because if you start to get bloated you're you're going to be totally screwed uh, a couple other little tips too um this is where I do see value in the the six meals a day or whatever where you're breaking it up Sometimes it's hard, uh, and I don't know where your caloric intake is at currently and where you're trying to get up to. Um, but I definitely know that for when I was pushing, you know, four or 5,000 plus calories a day, it was extremely hard to do that. And even like four or five meals, like this is, it required me to do six plus meals a day. And it's just easier. It's, e it's easier to put down a, you know, for me, a four or 500 calorie meal, maybe for you, it's, uh, you know, two, 300 calorie meal versus you trying to put down 700 calories in a single sitting. So that's one thing that helped me was uh, breaking the meals up and, and smaller, more frequent meals instead of uh, the, the big, large meals. And the, the difference as far as health wise and all that is we're splitting hairs on that. So I don't think it's a big deal uh, for you to do that. The other thing that helped me was eating uh, more more high glycemic carbohydrates early and lower in like saturated fats early on in my day and then allowing that later on in the evening. So I chose leaner meats uh, early on and and things that were lower in fat. And then I piled that on in the evening time. And by piled on, I just mean, you know, I, I chose to have the steak or the chicken thighs or... Uh, butter on whatever veggies or something that I'm eating. I did that later on in the evening when I when I was like my last meal or my last two meals. And earlier in the day, I kept things like oatmeal and rice and uh, fruit. They this all seemed to stimulate my appetite and keep me wanting the next you know small meal that was coming up in an hour or two. Uh, that really helped me push uh, the calories in. If I had a big heavy you know, bacon and egg type of breakfast, which I enjoy. And I eat that way now because I try, I'm try. i trying to stay satiated. 
the problem with that is it would keep me uh, so satiated that I didn't want to eat for another three, four plus hours versus when I had like oatmeal, blueberries, and whey protein, mm -hmm. uh, I'm hungry an hour later, I'm ready to eat again. So yeah. th those those strategies help me. Yeah, and here's something else to consider. when you If you are splitting up your meals, I think people, th they think they have to have a balanced, what I mean by balanced is carbs, proteins, fats, meal each time they split their meals up. It doesn't have to be that way. Something that I would do, because I used to be able to do this. I could, if I was kind of full, I could still eat a bowl of carbs. So what I would do is I'll breakfast, lunch, and dinner with my proteins, fats, and veggies. Meals in between were a bowl of rice or you know, a bowl of cereal or my carbs. Those were really easy. And then and then because I'd go through them so quickly in terms of digestion or whatever, an hour or two later, I was ready for my protein and fat, you know, main meal. So your meals don't all have to look like, you know, I have my starches, I have my proteins, I have my fats. You can split them up however you want and eat them up, eat them throughout the whole day or whatever to get those extra calories in. But number one, like Get your your body needs to uh, want to build muscle, and once it wants to build muscle, your appetite will naturally go up. The whole force feeding yourself thing, I get it sometimes, but if this is you all the time, you got to ask yourself why your body doesn't want to eat these the, these calories. What, you know what's going on? Is it your digestion? Is it your workout? Um, because for it's like it's like starving yourself all the time. It's the same, although it's on the opposite end of the spectrum. It's not good for you. Well, I was just going to bring up how how interesting that is to me too. Like, you ever notice like it's it's so hard to cut extremely hard. It's so hard to like aggressively bulk. I mean, the, your body has these this natural yep calorie you know uh, range that it wants to be in, and anything left of it and anything right of it is so hard. Mm -hmm. But finding that like it's a, it's a big stretch. It is. It's a, it's so when you're when you are pushing your limits like this. And I think what you said at first, Sal, is so important that that wasn't something that I, I probably noticed until later on and, and really pieced that together, how important it was to switch my programming up. Sometimes just that in itself. I mean, if you haven't trained certain lifts or you've been following the same similar type of routine and just completely throwing a curveball at the body, it does tend to stimulate the appetite. 